Good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make a video on how to connect your water to your tent trailer. May it be with the hose, so you can just run it directly, may you be at a campsite or at home, or if you feel like using the tank. Uh, depending on what year you have, it will be in different locations. Some are mounted underneath between like the actual ribs for the trailer. This one actually has a holding tank directly under the seat, and so you can fill the tank up and then pull the hose out, undo the cap, connect it, and with this dial, you can pump it, and then it gives you water without power, which is actually a nice little touch, but it's not without its quirks, so I'll show you how to use it, how to set it up, how to prime it, and then proper drainage and everything, so you don't freeze your lines over the winter and wreck stuff. Alright, here we go. Okay, first things first, you gotta get your cap out. You'll need some sort of slip locks to hold it. One side, we'll get back to the other side. Oh. Some Teflon on there. Remove that, keep your hose, I'll thread it on. Keep it nice and tight because you don't want to spray and wash all over the place. And for anybody who was wondering, this is where this model drains out. It's literally just inch and a quarter ABS stuck through the floor. Uh, I just put a bucket underneath right now. I prefer it over just putting the water directly onto the ground. Uh, it's easy enough just to take the bucket and go dump it out. Uh, this model doesn't look like it ever had a holding tank, but it would be pretty easy to add one if I ever feel like it down the road. Once you got the hose hooked up outside, turn your water on to your hose, get your water going. Uh, if you have any leaks outside, dress it now, especially if you're going to keep the hose on just so you're not wasting water. Uh, come inside, turn your tap on slowly, relieve any pressure, and you got running water, just like uh, any other tap now. Um, depending on how's, how your tent trailer is set up, you might have a holding tank, you might just drain out directly onto the ground. If you're in a campsite, you can just put a bucket underneath, and you won't have to worry about putting sink water directly under the ground. Uh, in this model, to fill the tank, you physically have to, you, you can pick it up and just take the tank right out. You run a hose in, me personally, I take a, the whole tank out. It doesn't weigh anything. Next to nothing, even when it's full, it doesn't weigh that much. So I'll get that filled and then I'll show you how to prime the faucet. Because that was one thing that took me a little bit to figure out and I wasn't able to find any info and of course, an old tent trailer like this did not come with a manual. Okay, so put some water in there, didn't fill it up too much. Just uh, want to get everything flushed out a little bit and then flush it a couple more times. Um, probably just put some vinegar water through it or something just to try to clean it. I'm not going to be drinking out of it, it's just going to be washing hands and type of stuff anyways. But anyways, so you take this cap off and connect the fitting that connects to the hose that goes to your faucet. Take the back cap off, and you can just loosen it technically, you, you just want to relieve any pressure. And then you need to prime this faucet or else it won't pump water. Because you can, you can turn it on, it's not going to do anything. This is when you physically have to start pumping. And as you can tell, there's water still in the line from the hose was connected but this hose is empty, so you gotta prime that. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so if you're wanting to use the tank, I find with mine, it has to be capped with this, or else it just blows air out here and the water out here instead of going through the tap. So if you're having issues and you don't have this sealed, seal this up, get a cap. Uh, this cap doesn't seem to work properly. It doesn't seal properly, so it, it can't 
prime the faucet like it should. So that right there is what seals it on this one. Okay, so once you put water into your holding tank, take off the small cap, check, make sure you got this tube, which is your pickup tube, and make sure when it's in there it's pointing down into the water. It's pointing up through the center there. Hook up to it. Loosen the back cap so you have proper venting. And yeah, so with this vent loosened like so, it just allows air to go in as you pump water out. And then you can start pumping the handle as you see so you can pump and pump and pump it is it doesn't self prime so what I find plug the hole give her some pumps you'll feel it starts to build some pressure take your finger out slip the arrow get it going again Start to pressure, and there we go. And when you get it going, you can get the air out of the line. It's enough to get your hands off. Put the plug in. Put some water in there if you need to wash a couple dishes, whatever you need to do. Alright, so once you're done using your tent trailer for the season, or even the camping trip. It's always a good practice to empty your holding tank. Don't want anything left in it. If you can, leave it open, both caps, just let it air out fully dry before you tuck it away. And you don't have to worry about any mold or mildew ever forming in there. Um, as far as your water lines go, you disconnect them, drain out the water. Once it's disconnected, you'll have water that will run out of this for a little bit, as well as you'll still have water in your actual water line. So. Once everything's disconnected, just pump until no water comes out. Keep that hose in a low position and anything should run out in no time at all. Yeah. Alright, well that sums uh, this video up. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, leave them below. Uh, I'll be sure to answer anything that I can or I'll uh, do my best figuring out so I can answer your questions. Uh, if you like the videos about the tent trailers, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll be renovating the trailer as soon as we get back from a camping trip this upcoming week. So if you're interested in that, be sure to follow. Thanks.